How's it going guys? Dre here and today we're back with Suicide Guy. Chapter 2 has come out called Sleeping Deeply, which is basically a whole new game with a bunch of new puzzles that we're going to be starting to solve in this episode. So yeah, if you don't know what Suicide Guy is, it's a game about this guy going to sleep and we have to kill him to wake him up. It's a really cute game. Funny story, this is actually the first game on my channel that was actually yellow flagged and it still is yellow flagged. It's nothing about suicide, it's just a guy sleeping but YouTube doesn't care about that. And this will probably be flagged as well, but that's totally fine. We're gonna get in it, into it today and uh, have some fun in this very awesome game. Now, I should mention, uh, you can see the logo over here. When you play this game in windowed mode, it does this for some reason. You're seeing the whole frame. Don't worry about that. Just the logo's over there for some reason. Anyways, let's get started. Get back into Suicide Guy and, uh, of course, this guy has to drink his beer once again, so he goes into his slumber that we have to get out of. Extra strong beer. Oh, okay, so we're, we're getting the good stuff in this series, guys. 99.9% .9 alcohol? Oh my god. Okay, that's 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 like straight alcohol, man. You know what he wants now. Beer and, let's say hamburger buns? <laughs> He's got a hungry guy in there and just one beer. Mind you... A 99.9% .9 alcoholic beverage, so that one beer is like 10 other beers. Actually, probably more than that. So it's safe to say with a beer like this, it's going to be hard to get him out of this drunken slumber. Uh, <laughs> let's see what happens in this first one. So this is supposed to be like four hours of new content, by the way. So we'll probably do a few episodes of this if you guys are liking it. Where am I this time? Good question, good old suicide guy. Looks like you're on the ocean being a pirate. My kind of pirate, the sofa pirate. What the, what the hell is this, raft? <laughs> okay, if only this was raft. I can dream that this will be in raft one day. So we got some sort of kraken monster we gotta deal with, it looks like. Oh my god, what the? Did this turn into like Suicide Guy ET? What was that? Okay, am I going right into the mouth? Yes, I am. Never mind, oh my god, I just attacked his eyeball. Okay, I popped out his eyeball. I guess that's how you kill a Kraken or whatever the hell that thing is. All right, and here we are in our first dream. So, <laughs> uh, didn't expect it to start this way. He's playing some sort of music. We have his eyeball, so he can't see crap right now. And uh, we got to figure out, I'm assuming, do I have to put the eyeball back in? We have a claw grabber over there that looks like it's eyeball sized. Let's just see what we have at our disposal here. He's playing music. Uh, looks like we can get up possibly over there. There's something up here. Not really sure how I'm gonna get up there just yet though, so uh, we'll get back to that. Okay, we do have a box to jump for space. Okay, so it's gonna give me a tutorial as well because this could be the first time you're playing this game. Uh, that being said, I beat the whole first game, and if you do want to check it out, by the way, uh, link me in the description where you can go check out the playlist. It's a very cool game, and uh, basically it's just like this except with different uh, dreams. All right, so we got our platform here, and there we go. No problem. We can get across. We have... All right, I think I know what's going on here. We have an eyeball with a freaking catapult, and uh, we have also the claw grabber. Now, mind you, I think I, I want to put the eyeball in there, but we also have a boulder about the right size as well, so... Uh, all right, we just got to figure out how to start using this thing. So there's probably the controls over here. Looks like, yeah, they're definitely up here. So I'm going to go to the X marks the spot here. Do I want to use the eyeball? Decisions, because we have this rock over here. You know what? Let's try the rock first. It's, it's actually closer. Now, can I actually move the rock? I definitely can't pick it up. Can I roll it? Yes, I can. Okay, there we go. My logic is that uh, this should kill him or make him angry, and that might make me die. Okay, so can, I, can we actually... I don't know how do I do this? Uh, I want... Oh, God. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I just gotta use my, my arrow keys. So, we're just gonna put that... I think this is probably... I can't move it any forward... any far, far, further forward or anything. So, let's try and drop it. Oh, yeah. Perfect. It went right in. I thought I had to make it go a little bit further. Okay, so we'll see if the rock is the good idea or if we need to move that eyeball. I think, uh probably gonna be the eyeball but I want to see what happens when we hit him with a rock it might just piss him off or it might fail or something I have no idea uh, hopefully it's as easy as just moving or yeah there's there's a little lever there so I think we can just use this mind you that thing might get in the way so I might want to move that but too late we're already here activate the item there we go and let her fly okay that did absolutely nothing so definitely I'm thinking it's the eyeball all right let the eyeball drop 
right into it like a glove. I mean, you, you got a perfect fit catapult here for an eyeball. I wonder how that works. Gotta love puzzle games where everything fits perfectly together. Um, I didn't really actually look over here. I'm thinking there's gotta be something to do with that music. Maybe I actually have to shoot the music with the uh, stone or something. We'll find out though. There's definitely some parkour I can do over here. So I'm thinking maybe even shooting myself might be smart. We also got a zip line coming down over here. Can I move any of this? Is there anything kind of hidden? Doesn't really look like it. Definitely something going on up here though. So I don't think this is gonna be as easy as popping his eyeball back in, but uh, this should make something happen, I think. At least I hope so. If not, I'm kind of lost already, and that's generally how puzzle games go for me anyways. All right, let her fly though. Let's see, pop it right back. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, now we're truly back to the drawing board. Oh! Oh, it worked! Okay, I decided to try one more time. Now he loves me. I don't I don't know if that's a good thing. I kind of want him mad at me, but let's see what happens when I go over to this happy bastard now. Hey man, what's up? Are you gonna eat me? Please eat me. I mean, I kind of expected you to kind of like me after I, get, I gave your eyeball back, but that's not the point here, bud. Uh, I'm thinking now we should maybe try the rock, see if it enrages him. Cause he's, he's a, he's a happy fellow now, so let's just try. I mean, I don't have a choice, I have to die somehow, and uh, the only way I know how is to get this guy to eat me. Alright, we're locked and loaded and ready to kill this lover boy. So, uh, yeah, now he can see me, he knows exactly who did it, and I think this is how he's going to hate me. So, <laughs> yeah. oh, he's... He's not very happy now. Okay, I'm just trying to kill myself, so, uh, yeah, feel free. Come on, yeah, swing those arms. You're real okay, he's... <laughs> there we go. Oh, I love it. I've missed this game so much. Just, just a game about trying to kill yourself is hilarious to me. So, oh, we're back at the, uh, shop, but it's different. Okay, let's actually check it out. So we got, uh... Well, this is level one, so I guess technically, did we not even do level one? Is it a whole new game? If it's a whole new game, I think the original game had 25 levels. So if this one has 25, that's a lot of content, man. And uh, I'm kind of excited for that. We'll see what happens here. Let's go on. I think I can only see, yeah, that's level two and there's nothing on it. So the only one we got is the level one. And it looks like we're gonna be in some sort of dune buggy. I mean, that sounds awesome to me. Oh, hell yeah. My god, look at the uh, visuals here. This is one beautiful game. So, uh, man, I feel like I'm playing Jalopy right now. Looks like I have to repair this thing and maybe fix. Well, I, I gotta figure out how to kill myself. <laughs> this is like Mad Max. I love it. All right, so let's take the engine, pop her in here. Uh, there we go. That's good. Should we bring these tires with us? Might be smart. Oh, no. I don't think I could pick those up. I think all I needed to do was put the engine in, and we're good to go. So, uh, yeah. Time to drive it. Oh, my God. I, <laughs> this is such a cool game. One minute, you're killing a Kraken, or trying to get a Kraken to kill you. The next minute, you're driving in the dunes of a very beautiful sand desert. So, we got something over here. Let's go see what this thing is. Uh, looks like there's actually... Some blocks spawning in. I have no idea what those are for. We gotta figure out a way to kill ourselves, though. Can we take this thing off any sick jumps or something? Oh, this is actually a spike wall. Let's see what happens when we hit it. Oh, okay, I guess it doesn't want to kill me. <laughs> Anybody in there? Yeah, I don't, I don't think they want me here. They had their spike wall up. I was gonna run right into it, but uh, I don't think it's gonna be that easy. What the hell is that noise, though? Stomp? Is that you? Because that sounds amazing in there. I, I want to be let in. All right, come on. Uh, let's see what happens when I drive over it, maybe. I don't think... Come on. Just do do, do your thing. Shoot me up or something. Okay, we do have some uh, desert storms going on out here. Oh, maybe we're supposed to just go into the storm. Isn't that where you die in Mad Max? Oh, uh, we just actually made it through the desert storm. All right, so there's definitely different colored ones. I just stopped off at a green one. This is a red one. I mean, I'm kind of in red clothing, so I don't know. Will, the, will these guys accept me? No, they will not. So there's got to be... Whoa. Okay, I, th I thought my tire fell off. Man, this is this is a tough one. There's not really much to... Oh. 
Well, I, I thought that was just some sort of door on the ground. Well, that's easy. All right, let's go down here. See what's up. Hey, guys. Ah, uh, oh, God. Okay, we, we got some levers here. I'm just going to press the levers. That's not safe. Oh, okay, it opens it up. All right. Well, it should be pretty easy to kill myself now. I kind of want to see what's in here, though. So let's, uh, let's do some parkour here and figure out if we can get all the way through. Oh, God. You tricked me. You're, you're a damn trickerson. The end is near. That's the goal. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm finding my way to the end at least. So there we go. Let's try and do this again. There we go. There we go. There we go. Jump. Jump. I mean, for a fat guy, this guy is really good at parkour, as you can see. <laughs> damn, son. There we go. I got one. Is that it? Is that is that really it? Did I do all that for a trophy? I wanted to kill myself. All right. I'm in the next one. Uh, we did red. Now... Man, that's gonna be a hard jump. Now we're in blue, so my logic is I don't really know what else to do. So if we do this one, we'll see what's at the end here. If it's just another trophy. Well, I see something there. All right, this one we gotta swing with. There we go. That was a little bit better. And jump, jump, jump. Oh, I got a golden engine. Okay, so this is cool. So I think we have to do all these. And then, uh, well, we'll see what happens when we put this engine in the car at least. All right, got a little bit of an upgrade here. What do we do? Just throw her in there? Uh, let's just drop it on the ground. I got to pull this guy out somehow, I think. Unless... How do I pull it out? I want, I want the better engine. Come on, man. Is there a way to put it in the back? Oh. Oh, I, I, I was wondering what these cubby holes were for. So I think we have to get all the upgrades. So there's blue done. We're, de oh, crap. We're definitely a lot faster now, as you can see. I think I know what I have to do. I have to be fast enough to hit it before it drops. We just need one more engine, so that's the mechanic. We just need the speed, damn it. All right, here's a green one. I haven't done green. I've done red, blue, and I think there's green and yellow, and that should be all of them. So, all right, not bad. I think I get it now. Let's see what's inside green. Hopefully another engine, because that's what we need. So, is this one any different? They seem to be getting a little bit harder every time I go down. Uh, well, it's definitely different. The platforms are drastically different, but uh, these really ain't too bad. Oh, God. Well, spoke too soon. This thing's really freaking wobbly. All right, just jump. Damn it. See, I'm going to have to get these things swinging. It's all about that swinging motion. I got that one swinging a little bit. There we go. There we go. There. Yes, that's how you do it. Now, don't screw this up. This is the easy part. There we go. Now, it says danger. I like the idea. Oh, God. Okay, well, got to keep going. The final one's always going to be the hardest one. Oh, there we go. Of course, I knew I, knew I would have to do that. Uh, I guess we just got to climb all the way back up to the front. Now that it's swinging, an easy jump on. Damn it, and I fell off anyways. Okay, and there we go. What do I got to do? Open up another door. Let me to this engine, man. This is, uh, is this still going? Oh my god, are you serious? Of course the final one, man. It just has to be that much harder than the rest. And, uh, this is definitely hard. The swinging platforms are the worst. So, oh, oh, I almost, I almost got it. Okay, there we go. How the heck? I'm gonna have to get this one swinging, I think. Nope, just gotta do a really good jump. There we go. Definitely improving my jumping skills doing this one, that's for sure. All right, man, that's a freaking long jump. There we go. Uh, well, I guess we have choices. I think we got to use them all. Let's play it safe here. Oh, okay. Well, what the hell just happened? All right, I'm up here. I don't even need to be up here. Wait, I am supposed to come up there. Damn it. All right, so it shouldn't be a big deal, though. Climb up, open it up, and my engine should be right here. Man, that was an eventful one. Got it. That should be it. All right, and we should have enough power now to hopefully kill ourselves. <laughs> Only in a game like this you can say that, guys. Uh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> okay, well, we'll let that thing open up, and let's just enjoy this for a second. Look how freaking fast. I'm, I'm, I have a fireball behind me, guys. All right, so my logic is it's not fast enough to not kill me. So there we go. All right, guys, and I think that's a good time to wrap up this episode of Suicide Guy Sleeping Deeply. So, uh, yeah, we technically only did the first level, but we did realistically do two levels. Next up, if you guys are enjoying this, it looks like we got some sort of racetrack or maybe Rube Goldberg machine 
to do. So yeah, if you guys are liking this, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.